I'm going to be talking about the kidneys, the adrenals, the bladder, the urethra, the vagina, and the penis, and the energies of those organs, and how to heal those organs. And um, this will lead to a webinar this Sunday, uh, where we will be working with that, with breath work, with holographic breathing. And uh, in this webinar, we will particularly be working with the kidneys. We've worked with the vagina, the penis, the urethra, and the bladder is slowly working up from the bottom. And in this one, we're going to be working with the energies of the kidneys. Now, those previous ones, the uh, vagina and penis, the urethra, they connect to the earth and give this sexual potency. Rises up through the body, healing through the body and healing through that circuit and connecting to the higher self, the divine energies, the divine teachers. And also it connects to the energy systems of the earth. It's reflected. It's why I call it a holographic breathing, because it reflects. The bladder had lots to do with relaxation, chronic fatigue, clearing chronic fatigue, resting, healing. The kidneys, it's kind of a polarity, it's two, it's a paired organ. It gives you the male, gives you the female, and their energies within us. And because it's connected to the potency rising from the vagina and the penis, it's a lot to do with the male, our inner male and female aspects to do with that, to do with our sexuality, but also personified in everything around. Uh, and when I talk, as in this webinar, uh, I talk with the higher energies. When I'm talking about this, the teachers, the divine energies, the divine beings, the creators, or whatever it is of those energies, and this the healing system. I don't know if talking is the right word, but uh, a knowing comes down and I feel my kidneys working. I feel the energies of them. And I, I kind of talk about that. I'm going to do these little videos about every organ so you can feel the energies of every organ. So the kidneys have this very delightful, sensitive, male, female quality to them. They also are our initial energy that we are born with. We come in with the kidney energy and everything else stems from that. So you really don't want to wear down your kidneys. And when that happens, you get the adrenals going off above them. You know, you get this fight, fly, adrenaline activity. But if you go too far, it starts draining the kidneys. Then you become very tired. You need to build that energy again. And um, I'm told that my kidneys are, are weak anyway. Lots of people mention, oh, you've got to work on your kidneys, especially that left-hand kidney. And also, I was on the road for a long time, just living, like working energetically on sacred sites and living in my van. Uh, and I used to forage, and I used to eat a lot of nettles. 
and um, I would eat them part, I would grow, I would cut them down so they'll grow again. If you do that, it's not good because it affects the kidneys. So I might have weakened my kidneys there because if you eat them after they've blossomed, they've got something in. I thought if I chopped them down so they were just new sprouts, it'd be okay, but apparently not. So I might have wasted them a bit there, but I can feel it at the minute in the kidneys. Like it's quite, you know, there is this vibrant blue of the blue circuit, but as I'm talking about them, I feel this toxicity there that is being brought to the surface to clear. And they are our organs that cleanse the blood. So if they're not working too good, you're going to be more toxic. There's going to be more toxics in, in the body, the organs, the cells of the body giving off different toxins, carbon dioxide, the lungs will release the carbon dioxide, most of the rest of toxins in the blood being filtered out by the kidneys. If that doesn't happen, you have a more toxic system and this will produce more toxic and nasty thoughts. If you have less toxins in you, you have nicer thoughts, you're more comfortable in yourself, you feel nice. So they are key organs, they are our primary energy, they cleanse the blood, they're deeply connected to the brain. There's a direct connection from the kidneys into the brain. And they have a spiritual quality, which I can kind of feel. There I do channel, but also each organ is a channel, and I can feel that spiritual quality of the kidneys coming in now is really lovely and very healing. I'm a bit slow at the minute. I've been, I started a fast today and I think my kidneys actually want me to drink something because I haven't actually drunk anything. So I need to drink something. But um, I think my kidneys are detoxifying and my body is detoxifying anyway. But there's this divine spiritual female type energy it's like a spiritual being, or, or it, it is an energy, it is a quality, but it's this female lady that comes down and is the quality, spiritual quality of the kidneys. And I say spiritual of the kidneys, that doesn't mean that spiritual quality is just in that. It is a connection to the other side. It isn't just, oh, it feels spiritual. It is like a connection to a spiritual quality and energy in the other side. And for me, breath work doesn't do it for me if it's just like an exercise or just relaxation, or deeper breathing. For me, I, I don't really get off until I'm channeling, until this spiritual energy is coming in, I'm connecting to the earth, the mind is melted and gone. That's what I'm here for. It's the transformation and evolution of myself and mankind. And the kidneys working like this and connecting to the other side and their mirror in the other side, and the divine energies of the kidney, truly ecstatic, truly lovely, and deeply, deeply healing. And we will be working with that on Sunday. And if you missed, if you're watching this after we've done the webinar, you can still get the recordings. I'll leave a link to the webinar 
and a link. Uh, and on that, you, you know, if you miss it, you'll still be able to click on it uh, and get the recordings because they'll be the later ones. We do a full webinar series. We've done the vagina, the penis, urethra, then another one, the last one was the bladder. This one is the kidneys. Next one is the adrenals. And they all have channels. They all have energies, they all have energy points through the whole body. They all have a deep wisdom. They are part of our karma. They have a connection through all of our past lives. And you can heal them with what we're doing in holographic breathing. It transcends that kind of time continuum with past lives and that can be cleansed and melted so you don't have to take that force we can totally transform so it's going you know the wheel of dharma starts rotating i'm not sure what that does but i don't even know you come back as a human after that started <laughs> rotating but either way you evolve so we will be doing that. We'll also be connecting to our inner ability to heal ourselves from within. There is the spiritual energies that come down and heal us. There is the connection to the earth that heals us. There is also an innate ability and reality in ourselves to completely heal ourselves. This is touched upon by what's called the placebo effect, where someone thinks they're going to get better, and magically they do. And we will be tapping in to that inner healer or placebo, whatever you want to call it. And we may also, yeah, I think we are, we will also be making a magical spiritual placebo remedy. Everyone will be able to make their own magical placebo remedy, probably for the kidneys, the healing of the kidneys, the detoxification of the body. And also I'll teach how to make those remedies for anything. We'll be doing that in the webinar. That's how, to the main part, I've recovered from Lyme disease. I just write out a homeopathic remedy or a placebo remedy. I just say, clear all the spirochetes, something like that, out of me. It's a spirochete from Lyme disease. Or I put a homeopathic potency under it put that on my water filter, it goes into the water, you drink it, you start healing. You just need a little ceremony to connect to the energies of your inner healer, which is not just some little old man or something. Beyond the beyond, it's just you are limitless inside. You are limitless and already beyond. And it's the ability to connect to that, to drop into those divine energies, your being, and have that personified through your body. And a lot of these things that are wrong with this drop by the wayside when we do that. So that's what we're doing on Sunday. Please come along. Please register. I'll leave a link to do that. Sunday after that, we've got a free webinar. Um, I'll also leave a link to that. And here, I think here, 
<laughs> there's a link to a free Learn Holographic Breathing webinar or tutorial. Click on that. Do that. Well, if you wish, do that. All right, with love to everyone. I hope you enjoy yourselves. I hope you enjoy your life. I hope you come back and watch more videos. I hope you learn holographic breathing and have a wonderful life. All right, thank you for listening. That's me finished for today. There'll be more of these on every organ, on all the energies. Today we've been doing the kidney energies.